DJI. You probably know them for their drones and camera stabilizers. But did you know every year in Shenzhen, China, they hold the world's biggest, most complex, and completely over-the-top student robotics competition? It's called RoboMasters. Each team builds their own robots and then has a 4v4, where the aim of the game is to shoot little pellets at plates on your opponent's robots. Well now DJI have brought out an educational battle bot that you can make yourself at home, inspired by the infantry class from the RoboMasters competition. This is the RoboMaster S1, designed to teach you how to build, how to code, and how to battle. The bot itself is pretty high tech. External hit sensors on every side, a gimbaled gun, HD camera, and omnidirectional wheels, allowing it to strafe and drift. It's damn cool. So it comes in bits. Uh, you want a bit of space and roughly two hours to set aside to put everything together. Once everything's built, you'll want to grab this little bottle of gel beads. There's 10,000 bullets inside one of these. So you just take a handful of these, soak them in water for roughly four hours, and then once they grow to about six mil, you're ready to battle. So the cool thing about these bullets is, well, according to the label, these beads are non-toxic, and after you use the gel beads, they will evaporate and leave behind small traces of powder which cause no harm to the environment. Which sounds much better than those plastic BB bullets I'm still finding buried in my carpet at home. It does still make a pretty big mess though. Now the label also says don't shoot people, of course. Um, we tried it, and it does leave little welts on your skin, but fairly harmless. There are safety goggles included in the box, which you should definitely wear. Plus there is also a safety feature in place where you can't aim the gun above 10 degrees if you're in gel bead mode. Because you do have a choice. If you don't want to use the bullets, you can also use infrared to battle. Works exactly the same, the robots can still pick up when they're being hit, it just shoots lasers rather than pellets. So next we just launch the Roadmaster app from either iOS, Android, PC or Mac, and you'll be greeted with three modes, solo, battle and lab. Solo play, you, you just cruise around, shoot things, it's a lot of fun. Battle play pairs two of these bots together. You have health bars and special weapons, and there's a few different game modes and they're all a lot of fun. Especially when you start making your own obstacles and arenas. And then lab is where you can learn to code. And this is where most of the longevity will come from this product. Supporting either Python or Scratch. Python may be a little intense depending on your coding knowledge, but for kids or people just starting out, Scratch is a great way to go. It's a simplified drag and drop interface. You need to use a combination of maths, physics and programming to pull off that perfect apex drift and I could see myself spending hours tweaking little bits of code. If you head on over to DJI tutorials here on YouTube, you'll be able to see some of these examples in practice. But hands down, the most impressive thing about this unit was the low latency. Why would you do this to me? I thought we were friends. Hey, hey. <laughs> Simultaneously streaming HD video to your device and taking control inputs with virtually no lag just made this unit so much fun to control. This is a great little hobbyist tool for anyone looking to get a start in robotics. Or maybe you just want a badass battle bot that you built yourself. You can check these out either in store or online at pbtech.co.nz. I'm Eli from PBTech. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, Jared, who won? Oh, twice in a row. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Okay, now try pulling back in the bottle. Are you serious? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Why'd you pull in the, the bottle, bottle, bro? In the bottle.